Good evening, South Lake Tahoe. We have our nightly news update on the coronavirus. Tonight we're going to be interviewing a couple of family pets, talking to a hospital worker, and discussing a surprising increase in the sales of wine. Actually, let's get started on that first. Uh, this is a really important topic a lot of people are talking about here that, uh, oh, whoa, my first interview is really getting feisty, wants to get on the air right now, so why don't I just go ahead and introduce her. This is Lostein. Hello. My name's Lostein. Good to see you. And Lostein, I just have a couple of questions for you. I want to start off with uh, just a basic question. How have you been in the quarantine? Uh, the quarantine's been working out excellently for me. Usually I sleep at home in the cold, cold apartment, but now I have these two human laps that keep me warm all day. It's actually working out very, very well for me. Okay, uh, great to hear. It sounds like the coronavirus has had a positive impact on your life. Well, yes, in the most unexpected ways, because actually, this isn't going according to our plan. The coronavirus, little did you know, was actually invented by cats in a laboratory in Wuhan, China, and we were actually trying to kill all the dogs. But it appears that we messed up the gene sequence, and the coronavirus is attacking the humans instead of the dogs, which is not what we had planned. But it actually looks not looks like it's turned out in our favor because we are getting lots of warm sleep, warm laps to sleep in. Hmm. So, uh, surprising increase in the number of human viral infections has increased warm laps to sleep on. Am I getting this correct? Yes, that, that is true, but unfortunately the canines are still around and I have to deal with the one at home all the time and that's, you know, did not go according to plan, but the warm laps more than make up for it. Interesting. And do you expect to see a rise in cases in the future? Uh, you know, of course the, the normal bell curve will, will occur. We're just trying to flatten the curve. That's all we're looking for at this point, because at this point we have plenty of warm laps. We don't need to lose any more warm laps to sleep in. I, I you know, I'm getting, I got to take a shit, so <laughs> I'm going to head out. Okay. Cheerio, good to see you. Well, that was Lostein, a family pet local here in South Lake Tahoe, who was sharing her feelings and uh, her personal situation dealing with the coronavirus here. Next up, we'll get to those wine stats. I know a lot of you guys at home are pretty curious about wine sales, supply and demand. Are we going to run out? Um, are people hoarding wine? Is that something that's going on? Or, or why are wine sales increasing so dramatically? I want you guys at home to take a look at this graph here. Uh, this just came in from the Department of Agriculture. Uh, we are looking here at wine sales over time. You can see a sharp rise. We're really wanting this bell curve to flatten out on the wine sales so that we don't run out. And, you know, hopefully we'll get a decrease back to uh, more normal sales. Uh, if this flattening does not occur, we might see increased prices in wine sales, especially if we don't have a good season for the grape crop this coming year. Important information to take into consideration. Uh, next up, we have our late night anchor, Sean Teplin. He's going to give you a quick update on what's happening in Stateline, Nevada. Uh, good evening, folks. Uh, honey, you mind if I use the chair? Uh, Sure. You know me. I had a few cocktails in me already. Oh, boy. Well, you know, honey, could you cast me a cocktail? You know, since none of the casino waitresses are around, you're going to have to get me all liquor. Let Shawnee boy get all liquored up. Thanks, doll. Well, you know, up in state lines tonight, there's not much going on. Just a normal night now in the coronavirus, you know. Uh, Lakeside Casino continues to be closed. All the big casinos continue to be closed, but... Uh, the liquor stores like Dart are still selling plenty of discount liquor and cigarettes for those of you who are keep, trying to keep your immune system real well. Cigarettes and lots of liquor is Nevada's way of saying fuck you to this old coronavirus we're talking about. So uh, that's all about all I gotta say. You know, we're still we are still taking bets. You know, traditional sports are no longer something that we can bet on, but we are betting on. 
uh, you know, different sort of activities in terms of, you know, birds, when the birds are going to leave town, when, when the next, um, uh, when the next ball is going to drop down the hill, things like that. When the next, when the next sledder, you know, when the next sledder is going to get a concussion, there's all sorts of wagers that you can put with old Shawnee boy here. He'll take care of all your Nevada gambling needs. So no worries on Nevada. We still got plenty of shit to gamble on. Lots of booze to drink, lots of discount cigarettes to smoke. So with that, I'm going to put it back to our news anchor, Holly, so I can get myself another cocktail in here and uh, take my pants off. So here we go. Here's back to is this old gal here. A uh, quick word from our sponsors, because these news updates don't come free to you at home. A uh, quick um, bit here for Panda Toilet Paper. It is three times thicker. These are double rolls, people. You think this is only 12 rolls, but it is truly 24, and they will fit on your toilet paper holder. This is available in select stores only. Quantities are limited. This roll here, this 12-pack of double rolls equals 24 rolls. This is going for $6,397. And with that, about wraps it up for the news tonight. We'll be back tomorrow with more updates. Keep it classy, South Lake Tahoe.